This part of the episode is where we typically show beautiful but fairly generic shots of the current World Cup location. So let's skip ahead. In fact, this isn't a story about where. It's a story about what. You know I run the streets in a fast life, you know what it's gonna be. Ride up in my environment. The rider you see is Danny Hart. Last year, he rode the most absurd stretch of late season form, winning World Cups in a row and coming within a whisker of beating Aaron Gwynn for the overall. But what exactly is form? Technical skill plus physical prowess? Speed plus swagger. Peanut butter plus chocolate. Daniel is a weird sport. You can be the fittest of the field, but still you end up 20th. If you fit, strong mentally, and riding well, if one of these is missing. Rachel Atherton, just over half a second back. It's impossible to be up front. Being injured probably knocks my confidence down more so than my fitness. For me, it's more about having fun and, and then building the confidence from that. And that's how I find my form and that's how I do good. Maybe don't, don't search for it. That's number one. Never search for form. Create it. That'd be number one. Hey. How you feeling? Lines dial? Know where you're going? Pretty much? Stoked? Form. You need to be fit, you need to be fresh. So fitness plus freshness equals form. Fitness is global. That's how we start. So you can't just go and do 25 runs to know the track inside and out. That doesn't create form, that doesn't create performance. You need freshness, so that's managing how you spend your energy of a weekend. And that's physical and mental energy. And too much of a good thing is a bad thing, that's for sure. A lot of guys can learn from that. More isn't better, better is better. I see, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Seagrave, the winner of Leah Gang this year. and ankles, given her a lot of uh, aggro, she said this week. It's certainly very, very swollen. And she extends again now, 5.6 up. Oh! Oh, she's slid in that turn there. Oh, what a shame. Miriam Nicole. Can she make it to our two? In this case, the difference between an athlete searching for form and an athlete on form is easy to see. The difference is winning. Here comes Miriam Nicole, she's gonna smash that time! Nicole goes fast, there's 2.38 up! The woman of the moment! That's the thing about form. It's like art. Regardless of definition, you know it when you see it. I knew Andorra was good, and I was like, okay, now the next step is pushing more and be able to go a little bit closer to the edge. I start to do mistakes at the wrong places. Oh! The back end steps out there. Exactly where you don't want to do mistakes. 
in the slowest part to the court, and he gets loose coming over the top of there, and it's a big mistake from Bruni. Did well to save that. I felt the people just stretching the gap, and I was getting mad. When I crossed the line, I knew he was bad, and he was never going to be enough for top five, or even better. I feel like I missed a shot to a really good result, but it's not too bad. There's not many places you can fault Greg Minard, that's for sure. So Minard is sure to go fastest in Lenzheider, he comes down the line, he does! Minard goes fastest by nearly two seconds! At this level, the difference between great and simply excellent is 1.02%. So it would appear form is the physical and mental state conducive to delivering an ultimate performance come race day. It's a principle that Aaron Gwynn has all but mastered. Oh, it's a flat! It's a flat rear tyre! But form doesn't factor for flats. What a disaster! It was a simpler time in 1991 when the first World Cup came to Mont saint anne Quebec. International racing here began life as a frosty-tipped, lycra-clad, C and C Music Factory superfan. Now, 23 editions later, the oldest race on the circuit continues to age like a fine wine. The 2.9 kilometers that finish in the St. Lawrence Seaway paid witness to all of the sport's greatest champions. But surprisingly, the downhill here has only ever been won by a single Canadian. Growing up, racing, there was kind of always this thing where people would be like, oh, like, Canadians never make it far because, like, we're lazy because we ride the bike park. But then, like, Stevie kind of came along. Stevie Smith on the run here as he comes whistling into this rock section. He looks faster than anyone. We haven't had any super big name racers until Stevie started doing super well. Stevie Smith! Having someone like that to watch come from your country and come from your area and be able to win the World Cup overall is, is amazing. Us being the same age, but his level of confidence being like so much higher than mine was. It's a really cool like energy to be around all the time. Like when you go ride with him and you're like, oh, like, I, don't, I don't know if I can do that. And he'd be like, well, why not? And you're like, well, shit, why not? You know? For me, it was like, man, a Canadian can do that. I guess so can I. Stevie Smith may be gone now, but his approach and influence live on. You can see it in the current crop of Canadian World Cup contenders and in future generations. Canada really has developed riders that are able to compete for the top spot in different categories. We're repeating last year's victory from Canada, Finn Going from second year junior to first year elite is a pretty big hop. I want to be able to follow what someone like Loic would have done. And at the end of the season, I went fourth overall. I couldn't see it coming, and I was like, I guess I'm a little bit thinking about next year just because I can already compare my time to the pros a little bit. To me, he's already there, you know? He has the pace, he has the fitness, the mental. He'll be for sure a contender next year, so... I'm looking for you, man. <laughs> Regardless of era, the most fundamental tenant of racing bicycles was, is, and always will be. Ride as fast as you can 
while simultaneously avoid crashing. It's a concept we'll witness again this coming Saturday. Athlete against the clock. It's seeming simplicity, making it infinitely captivating.